right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, leveling a clock, and hopefully that will put the clock in B. So um, before we start, let me explain what our end goal is here. So I'm going to put this inside here because I want you to listen to this. You hear that? So a clock in beat means that it's an even spacing between the tick and the talk, right? So that's pretty even. So this is a, a German clock, just a German wall clock. It belongs to a customer. It has been set so that it is in beat. So I want to show you a little something about this case. Um, what's kind of crazy about it is that depending on where you place the level on the case in here, it's not necessarily level at all, is it? So you kind of have to sit back and look and see, well, what does it look like hanging on the wall? Um, if, we, if we move the case just a little bit, now you can hear... Right? You hear that? Now it's now it's out of beat, right? It's sort of a tick tock and actually the clock has stopped because it's out of beat and it can't stay running that way. So we're gonna put this back in beat. Actually, if we look at this, there's a little bit, this is an old case, so we can see right here that it's <laughs> But if we move it on the wall, now we can see, all right, so it's back in, it's back in beat. We're going to close this up like this, and then we're going to back up just so we can say, oh, it looks pretty even on the wall, doesn't it? It doesn't look completely out of hand. So, all right, well, let's suppose that the case is um, not even on the wall, and we need to adjust the clock itself and put it into beat. So that's what we have here. We have got this um, Gustav Becker German movement, and it has been actually sitting and running on these brackets for quite a number of weeks and, uh, and been doing just great. But I want to explain, since we have so many different clocks in here, we are going, we actually, what we've done is we have connected a pickup up to this and connected it to this right here and if we listen to it we can tell that this is completely out of beat right so let's let's look at a couple of things here on this first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to put a level on the movement here that's pretty close so so what do we do the movement's pretty much level here but the clock's still out of beat. So this is what I wanted to show you today. What we're going to do is we are actually going to, let's see if I can get behind here and show, there we go. We are actually going to adjust this just a little bit and attempt to put the clock in beat, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna use another German movement here to uh, attempt to explain what I'm talking about. So basically we have our pendulum back here or a verge actually. Okay. And so this is what's going to swing back and forth like this, right? And so this is connected to the escape wheel. All right. And you can see the little crutch right there. All right. So, so here's the important thing to know here. This, this is actually friction fit to right here okay so we can actually let's get it back into focus here so we can actually push this a little bit one direction or the other and it will adjust where this sets right here so that's a rudimentary way of explaining it but what we're going to do is with our clock back here that is out of beat, we are going to adjust this right here since it's friction fit. So that puts this clock in beat because it was not. All right, so let's do that now. We're gonna turn this on so we can hear what we're doing. In fact, it's not running at all right now. So here's the, here's the important part of what we're gonna do, okay? First off, we're going to take this pendulum all the way off. This just fits in its cradle right there. Okay. 
And we're going to come behind here then, and we're going to just, we can feel it go back and forth, but if we just, I'm going to push this a little bit to one side. See, now that's too far that way. So we actually need to come back this way. And you see how I've done that? How it's, it still sounds uneven. So I'm going to push it a little more in that direction. Okay. Still sounds a little uneven, so. Now on this one, we actually have to pull this out just a little ways so it's not hitting in between these little guards right there. But what we do want, eventually, I think it's going to have to come back this way a little. Okay, so that's a good star, right? You hear how that's even? So now what we're going to do is we'll come back under here. Let's see if I can show you. What we're going to do is come back under here, and we're going to set this in here. Now let's see where we're at. So it's still a little off when we put the pendulum on. So I'm going to come back up here and look at that. That looks pretty even. So what we'll do is we will we'll adjust that crutch in the opposite direction. It seems like it wants to sort of lean towards this direction. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to do this with this on here just a little bit. And I'm going to pull this to this side just a little. Now it's a little too far that way. So it sometimes just takes a little bit. Yeah. There we go. All right, you hear that now? So now we've got the clock that's in beat. We think it's pretty level. And so at this point, this clock is ready to go back to the customer because the customer is going to install that into their case. And we'll go from there. And I appreciate you watching.